Hello YouTube, PPC's Matt here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make some custom reservoirs like the ones you see here. If you've caught some of my streams in the past uh, that I streamed at PPC's Builders Club as well as Twitch and YouTube here, uh, you might have seen that I've made one for the Define S as well as these ones I've actually made on stream as well. So you may have actually already seen me do this, but today I kind of just want to go through the step-by-step -step process and uh, just teach you guys how you can get PPC's to help you guys make some custom reservoirs for your rigs just like these. So first I'll go into the design and for that we're going to hop on the desktop and I'll show you how I drew this up and uh, what I sent to PPCs exactly to get that made for me. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so the design part of this is actually pretty simple. All you actually need to get to us is a 2D drawing. The actual file types are in the product description for the custom work which is linked in the description below. So check that out and just read exactly what we need. Send the, the mod shop an email or hit me up on Discord or Facebook if you have any questions about design. I'm always happy to help and so is the mod shop. So for this reservoir, uh, I believe I made it, uh, the reservoir itself is about 150 by 130 millimeters and then the top is actually 10 millimeters bigger on each side in order to accommodate for the 3 millimeter or M3 um, screws to bolt it to either a case panel or a surface, whatever it may be. I also have some 11.8 uh, millimeter holes drilled out around it, or actually cut out because it's being done on the laser but uh those are for tapping to g1 quarters so we can have some ports on there because obviously if you have a reservoir it needs some way for the coolant to get in and out so once you kind of just get the general idea of what you want to make all you really need to do is get us the the height and width dimensions of each piece that you need so all in all this was like 20 bucks total for the different pieces uh obviously it's six pieces it's a cube essentially but uh whatever you guys come up with just let us know the design and we can get you guys an estimate and a time frame and everything so now that you got the design done let's jump on to the more fun part of actually assembling this thing as you can see i've laid out all the bottom pieces for the reservoir here and i've started gluing on the sides so to do this i use um low voc acrylic cement i'll have that linked in the description below but uh, it usually takes about five minutes to dry, you know, hold it for a few minutes and then let it sit for a while. As you can see, I kind of cut everything out of this video in between, but it actually takes a good half hour to hour to, to kind of set this up and let it dry and put each piece in. I'm using just um, blocks that I know are square to make sure that all the sides stay square. Uh, anything like that can kind of help the process as well. But overall, it's just, you know, be patient, take your time, and just hold the pieces steady, and it should go together pretty well. You won't really ever get it to line up perfectly, and that's why eventually you'll sand it all down once you get it all glued. And as you can see now, I'm actually going back, and I glue each seam probably two or three times again after it's all together like that, just to make sure that, you know, there's glue all the way through the seam and we don't have any leaks. It's probably a bit overkill but I'd rather not have any leaks when glue is pretty cheap and it's easy to apply. So now after it's you know dried for a good 12 hours or so, you don't want to start sanding right away, but uh, uh, it started sanding the top so the actual lid or the top of the reservoir will sit flush. Um, if your pieces didn't line up perfectly, you might have to do that. I also sanded down the sides so all of the edges are flush and now I'm going back and I actually put one or two more layers of glue on the outside seams and then I go back and I sand that off as well. Like I said, it's probably overkill, but uh, it's just kind of the extra process and extra time I've put into it just to make sure. I've never had one leak, so I don't know. I'm not doing it wrong at least yet. A palm sander or any kind of electric sander will definitely help in this process. Now I'm uh, tapping some of the ports. Uh, that's just a G and a quarter tap. That's also linked in the description below. But uh, once you get the holes lasered out to 11.8 millimeters, it's just simply you know running the tap through it, and then you have a G and a quarter port. So pretty simple process.
as you can see, all the ports work just fine. So it's pretty straightforward, and I think you guys get to just the tapping a port once you have it already cut out. Now, as you can see, I'm getting ready to glue the lid on, and as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, 10 millimeters extra on each side, so that's why I was using the ruler just to make sure everything's spaced properly. I put one layer of that light, uh, the thin glue that dries quicker, and now I'm just leaving it clamped for a few hours. Uh, then afterwards, I tap the ports on the top, uh, you can really tap the ports anytime, just if it's glued, obviously make sure that the glue is fully dried so you don't start ripping apart your reservoir. Now that the top's all done, I'm actually going to take some of the heavier weight glue, um, I think it's VOC 16. That's also linked in the description below, and I just run a bead around the edge just to make sure. I don't know. I, as I said a couple times now, I use a lot of glue, but it ends up sanding down and looking clean and not leaking. So kind of just go as far as you'd like to go with it. If you have issues with leaks, then I guess you probably need a little more glue. Now that your reservoir is completely assembled and you sanded it up a bit, it's time to clean it up a little bit more with some paint. To do this, I typically just tape off the front section of the reservoir, the part where you should be able to see the coolant through, and then I just paint up the rest so it hides all the lines from gluing and sanding and whatnot. So for the paint, I just used some Rust-Oleum uh, professional grade automotive paint. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than just the generic stuff, kinda. But really, guys, I'm not an expert at painting. Uh, all I know is whatever paint you use, just put on light, even coats. Uh, I put like three or four total on these reservoirs. Uh, just take your time. It usually takes a good 15 minutes to a half hour to dry between coats, at least enough to put on another one. So really, guys, just uh, kind of just use regular spray paint tactics and away you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little how-to video I made for you. If you did, please leave a like. Definitely subscribe for more content. Follow us on Twitch. Join our Facebook group. I do weekly streams, so you'll definitely want to catch those if you want some more modding and water cooling content. Other than that, though, y'all, I'll be catching you in the next video or stream, so have a great day.